What's up, YouTube? I'd say the most common question I've been asked on my channel so far has been what type of sparker do I use for my potato cannons? So I decided I'd make a video telling you the type of sparker I use and how to use it. So this guy right here is an example of the type of sparker you can use on any sort of potato gun, potato cannon, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's just an example of one. Other companies make it. You can get them other places. I get this at my hardware store. I know you can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot. But you want to go to the barbecue section and ask for a barbecue sparker because those are the type that work best. This particular sparker is made by Weber. Um, what comes in the box is this thing, and then what you really need, the sparker itself. And this is what the sparker itself looks like. It's just a small plastic thing, usually with a big red button that you can push, and it makes a clicking noise. So all you need are these two pieces. What you need to do to hook it up to your potato cannon, uh, you take this wire portion where the box is, cut the wires right above the box, and then strip them so you, you have bare wire exposed, and wrap them around those screws, hooking them up to the potato cannon so you can receive the spark inside the chamber. And then on the other side, you'll have these two portions right here. Take your sparker and hook them up. And then you'll see that the spark sparks on the inside. So once again, hook up the sparker, cut off the box, strip the wires, and hook them up to the screws in your potato cannon. So I hope this answers all your questions about the notorious potato cannon barbecue sparker. This is the sparker right here, or a type of sparker that you can use. It's just a plastic little barbecue sparker. Um, if you guys are still confused on what to do or how to do it, or have any questions about the sparker, feel free to send me a message or a comment on the video. Check out my other videos. Keep an eye out for my new videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks again for watching.